over there with the rest of them. No! Stop pulling this, it's mine. Huh? Aren't you Mari's mother? Yes, aren't you Urain's mother? What a surprise a robot fine clothes here. Hey, let's go upstairs. Okay, let's go. They've got lots of neat things up there. You're like an escalator, aren't you? What do you mean? An escalator's a machine and you're a robot. Dad says robots are machines. If I'm a machine, then what's a human? A human is a human. Wow, they're great. Take a look at these robots, Mari. Aren't they neat? <laughs> what's so funny? Well, you're a robot, aren't you? And they're robots, too. Come on, I'm a special robot. Those are just toys. Uh, what's the difference? If I'm like an escalator, then you know what you're like? What am I like? Tell me, your rain. Well, you're a... Go ahead. Uh... There. There it is. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> Come on. What's going on? Come, your rain's always in trouble. Well, I'm glad they will forget the whole thing if we just pay for what she broke. I don't think we've heard the last of it yet. It's Mari's father. I told my daughter she's not to play with your rain anymore. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What's going on? Your rain. You insulted my daughter by calling her a cockroach. How dare you say such a horrible thing? Why? I didn't mean to, but a cockroach is an animal, and so's Mari. What are you talking about? People and roaches are completely different. Well, robots are different from escalators and toys, too. Urain, she's very young. Sometimes things just slip out, you know. I don't think humans are different from cockroaches. What did you say? Well, humans and cockroaches and robots are all made of atoms, right? That's absolutely right. You're all crazy robots, you know that? I would tell you to teach your children to behave themselves, but you're no better than they are. You're right. I'm always trying to teach Astro things, but you know, he's such a smart boy, he always ends up teaching me. <laughs> Count on this. My family will never speak to you again. Sorry. I don't get it. Why did we have to apologize to him? Because the law doesn't allow us to fight back, even if we're insulted. Mari's dad and mom believe that humans are superior to robots. A lot of people do, but why? Without humans, we wouldn't be here. We were made by them. Then who made humans? Tell me that. Uh, well, father? Uh, I don't know. Never gave it a thought. They say that humans were made by God. At least that's what I've heard. Well, where does he live? I want to go see the man who made humans. Let's ask Dr. Elephant. You want to know where God lives, hmm? Well, that's a very difficult question. Come on, Dr. Elephant, I want to know. Some people would disagree, but I think God lives in the heart. Where? Let me see him, uh, will you? Help, Astro, you help! Behave yourself. I thought Dr. Elephant was a great scientist, but he doesn't even know where God lives. He is a great scientist, but that doesn't mean he knows everything. Hmm, sure. Come on, Uran, give him a break. <laughs> Ask him why he created humans. All right, if nobody will tell me, then I'll find it myself. Where do I start looking? Here you are, the gods of the world. Thank you. The religions of the world. Christianity. Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem to the Virgin Mary. At the age of about 30, Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist and began his teachings. The Religions of the World, Part 2. Buddhism, founded by Gautama, became the Buddha when he experienced illumination under a tree.
Later, this religion spread to various countries in Asia. Religions of the world, part three. Islam, also known as Mohammedism, founded by Mohammed around the year 610 AD. Hinduism. The word Hindu is the Persian equivalent of the Sanskrit Shindu, meaning a river. Zoroasterism, an ancient religion founded by Zoroaster, who is believed to have lived in the 6th or 7th century Bar. BC. Any of various local fertility and nature gods of the ancient Semitic peoples. Oh. oh! I didn't think there were that many gods in the world. It's all very confusing. Bet I can understand the robot god a lot better, but where can I find him? I just don't know where to look for the robot god. <laughs> Robot God. Huh? Why don't you try Dr. Czar at Children's Land? Dr. Czar? Children's Land? an easy question. Your rabbit's eyes are red because the capillaries in its eyes are transparent. But what are capillaries? Tiny blood vessels, as thin as a hair. Next, please. Gee, thanks! What's your question? know where the robot god lives. Robot god? Please tell me. Robot god lives. What's the matter, don't you know? You don't know everything, do you? I do know everything. Then tell me. I think I know everything. Come on, tell me then. At least I don't think I don't know everything. Mm, you don't sound very sure of yourself. Come on, tell me the truth. You don't know, do you? Your robot god is... You don't know everything. You're just wasting my time. I'm going... Ah! Hey, I didn't mean to make you mad. Huh? The god of robots lives here. I am your robot god. Oh, come on. I don't believe that. I am all powerful. I know everything. I am the god you are looking for. I may be just a little robot, but I'm no fool. Huh? Hey, it's coming down! No, I haven't. A god never breaks down. Okay, if you're the robot god, show me some proof. I'm not about to take your word for it. I control all of children's land. When I use my power, humans and robots fall at my feet. <laughs> It won't respond. Where's 
Where's your ring gone this time? I wish he'd just stay home. Oh, something's wrong. Nobody whips me. I'm still in charge here. You're just a silly computer. Astro could beat you with one hand tied behind his back. You'll learn to respect me, robot. You must be punished. The spider is your guard. It answers only to me. Oh, no, this is only weak oh, stupid spider. I'm the one you're seeking. Admit it or you die. greater than yours. No, you're nothing but an old computer. I am the robot god. We'll see how great you are when I turn off your power. Go ahead if you can. Of course I can. Escape from God. Believe in me or die. That's what 
I see, I'll use my ears. Astro, where are you? It's dark and I'm scared. Oh, you rain, Astro. Huh? Listen, it's the computer. It must be down here under the floor. Watch out, Urane! It's the main computer room. So you found me, Astro. Your circuits are damaged. I'll shut you down. How dare you speak to me like that? Listen to me. I just want to help you. All I want to do is turn off the main switch. Then you can be fixed. Don't come near me. I am the robot god. I'm turning you off. <laughs> you can't fight me. You're wrong. Give up, Astro. Your powers aren't strong enough to get through my force field. If only I had a little more energy. Listen, Urain, maybe we can do it if we combine our strength. Okay, here we go! <laughs> <laughs> it's hopeless. Give up. Are you all right, Astro? Your energy's getting low, isn't it? I've given you a chance to believe in me. Now it's time I put an end to both of you. Now you pay the price for disobeying me. Scrap him. No, you can't do that. You can't scrap my brother. There, take this and that and that. Urane! Urane, jump off! There! Ah! That's very interesting. You say the computer broke down when Urane asked it about God. Yes, but it wasn't all Urane's fault. I didn't do anything. I just wanted to know where God lives. What's wrong with that? God is invisible, Urane. He means many things to many people. Nobody can completely understand what he is. He's a mystery. I don't understand. Do you mean humans can't even see who created them? All we need to know is that we were made by humans to work with them and help them. Okay, then who made me? The man standing in front of you. Huh? Dr. Elephant? If he made me, then is he my god? I guess so. If you want to look at it like that. No! Didn't I say you'd better not find out who created you because you might be disappointed? Yeah. It's not that bad, is it? Hey, Urane, where have you been? I've been looking all Come over for you. Come back here, Mari. Yeah, 
Let's go, Mari. I told you to stay away from her, Mari. Sometimes I wish we were all more like children. Huh? Who invented grudges anyway? It sure wasn't a child. Look at the way they made up, like nothing ever happened. It doesn't matter to them who's human and who's a robot. Uh, yes. They'll grow older and lose their innocence, but if they stay together and stay friends, someday robots will be equal to humans. Dr. Elephant, we found out what caused the computer breakdown. It was this cockroach. It got into the computer banks and caused a short circuit. Amazing! An insect made a computer think it was God. There's a moral here somewhere, but I don't know what it is. Next time, come in for a landing at Spaceport R-45. There's a mystery to solve, and it's tricky. Space pirates are raiding the area, but who's behind it all? Find out next time on Astro Boy.